morning. Um, as you were aware, last episode I was at Stonehenge, and I still am at Stonehenge, so I thought I might carry it on from here. So I haven't got to film too much of it, I can just part film bits as I go along. Um, so this is my last day here at Stonehenge, um, at least for a couple of days anyway, because I need to head down into Devon, um, see the little one. Um, I might hang around that way, but then again, I'm going to a meet next weekend which is the South Central meet. So if any of you go into the South Central meet, I'll see you there. If not, it might not be too late for you to go and uh, get a ticket for that. And, I'll, and you can, I could see you there. I think it's like 15 pounds a night or something for two nights. Um, yeah, there'll be a lot, loads of people there. I think it's like hundred and something people going. So it could be, you know, it's going to be quite, quite a good laugh. Uh, meeting some new people, meeting some people that have been following me. Um, meeting up with good friends of mine as well, because they're all going to be there. So. I'm sure there'll be a lot of uh, fire pits going on. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pack up here and I'm going to get moving. Um, I'm going to head into Andover, go to Aldi, get some food, uh, and then get some fuel if it hasn't gone to shit because everyone seems to be on a fuel panic crisis again. Um, and then I'm going to head into Han Andover Pure Gym, have a workout, have a shower, and then I'm going to start heading south. Um, there's either two options where I'm going to head to. I'm going to head to one of my little park ups that's down that way, or I'm actually fancy going for a pub meal. I want some nice hot cooked grub. So I do know of a pub which is just outside of Torquay that I can, I'll take you to. Well, I'll take myself to, should I say? Um, that allow me to park in the car park as long as I have something to eat. Um, so they've got Guinness on tap, so that's quite deadly. Uh, but the food in there is amazing and the atmosphere in there is lovely, everyone's nice um, and it's stunning as well and I'd like to show you that as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have my coffee as you know you always do, got myself some shredders, frosted shredders, I'm going to munch on that, get tidying up and then I'm going to make a move and head to Andover I reckon. <laughs> ready to hit the gym it is a lovely day today it's just like it feels like summer look I'll try to show you it's nice to see some sunshine some, some, some sunshine nice to see some sunshine Sunshine, get my words out. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna pack up, I'm finished here now. Gonna let the baby warm up for five minutes, so I like to do that, I'm just nice like that. Um, and then I'm gonna go Georgian first, then Fuel, then Audi, then start heading south. So, this'll be fun. Good bit of driving ahead of me, to be honest with you. But, not really in the right mindset either to be driving long. When you drive for a long period of time, your mind starts to wonder a bit. So, yeah, I might have to put some sort of podcast on or something to, to keep my head going straight. But yeah. That's me refreshed I'm out the gym. Um, yeah, so I'm in Andover at the minute. Uh, oh, oh, my blood pressure's a bit high at the minute. I'm like, <laughs> pre workout for you. I've had enough to stimulate a horse. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I had my shower. Now I'm going to 
head to the Audi. I'm going to get fuel first, see if I can get that, because this, this whole war thing going on, everyone's a bit panicky about fuel, so hopefully I can get to fill my tank up. And I need to fill my 20 litre, it's in the back of the van as well, for work and emergencies. Um, yeah, just going to get some food, and then I'm going to start hitting the road, I think. Give me up, give me up, give me up. It's patience, patience. Be nice to it, be nice to it, be nice to it. Fucking be patient. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Little tugs, big tugs, caressa. Come on, baby, let me have my seat now. Don't be, don't be spoiled. I wonder if I slam the door. It's just going to be me trying to get that. Joe trying to get his seat belt. Come on, come on. One minute twenty, and Joe trying to get a seat belt. Mike. Come on, I just needed to go over there. Fuck's sake. Why are you stuck? What do I need to whack? Hold on. Let's start again. Right, got the shop in. <laughs> Woo! Got the shop in. Now I'm gonna head to just outside Torquay to a nice little pub and have some food and park up in their car park. Then I'll pick the door up in the morning. No. Same as my name for the YouTube. Uh, give me a follow, and then I want to put up in, over the next like couple of days. I'll start putting a, a little question thing up so people can ask me questions, and then, I'll, and then I'll answer them in my next video. So, if you fancy asking me some random questions, you know, van related, mechanical related, anything to be quite honest with you. Um, obviously, keep it, keep it, you know, within reason. Um, obviously I won't answer the stupid questions. I might laugh at them, but I won't answer them. <laughs> but yeah, go over to my Instagram, um, follow me on there, keep an eye out for when I start throwing out that question thing on my old story, and throw a question in there and I'll answer it on my next video. But I'm going to carry on with this dreadful drive. It's horrendous, it's not even funny. If you've ever been down towards like the south coast, you get on the A380, and my van's been all over the country. But this hill is just torture. Oh, I've just gone from 70 mile an hour down to 40, 35. Oh dear, come on, baby, come on, third gear, 30 mile an hour. Oh no! There's a lorry! It's gonna get in the way! There's traffic coming behind me! I've gotta keep the momentum up! They're gonna cry at me! Fucking go for it! Go for it! Oh! <laughs> third gear, flat out! 40 mile an hour! Fourth, no, third! No, third! <laughs> That'll do! <coughs> 35 mile an hour. Come on. So 
Well, if you're ever in the area, the old guy in him, lovely. I don't know if I'm going to go, I don't know if I'm going to stay here because I'm on the pit. Not very comfortable, but that way. Tonight. I was going to, but I'm a bit wonky. Yeah, I was going to say, if you, if you are on park, I'm better off at the lower end there. Yeah, I usually, I've been here before, I usually oh, go right. next to the container, but there's some wagons in there. That's my wagon next to the container. Oh, right. <laughs> um, but if you, if you want to go there, I can put it over there. It doesn't bother it's, it's, much, it's much more level down there. Oh, that would right. probably be a bonus, mate, if you could. Yeah, no, I, I don't mind being a little bit on the wonk, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but no, it's too much up here. The, the car right. park goes like this. If I have four Guinnesses, it might fall over. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'll, I'll stick my wagon over there and you put it on. I think he's going to move over so I've, because I've got a long van, you see. So, I've just got to this pub, and as you already know, they're that lovely. The guy even moved. He's been working here for a little while, uh, living in his van, in this car park. Do you know what I mean? Close to the sea as well. What more can you want? Um, I want to put some nicer clothing on, because it's a lovely pub, and I don't want to be seen as riff-raff and especially when they're letting me stay in the car park do you know what i mean so we're gonna put some nice clothes on and go and have some food After sinking a few pints and a good meal, it's time to get some rest and pick my daughter up in the morning. And that was just what I needed, some time with my daughter. It makes me feel so much better afterwards. We had a beautiful day, the sun was out, a bit windy. But it was time to start heading back, drop her home, and start heading back up the trim tree. So, until next time, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ta da!